so today we're going to talk about retro writing um there's been a lot about um you know using retro bright um and hydro peroxide hydrogen peroxide rather to um brighten up the shell of a yellowing computer i'm not convinced um i'm not convinced that this form of cleaning up old plastics is a good long-term solution and here my th here's my reasons and my thinking as to why okay ultraviolet light uva uvb has an effect on plastics i mean straight out of the alchemists do not do is do not expose plastics to ultraviolet light that's the long and the short of it it's basically you will get cracking they will become brittle and they will be get get some of a kind of a chalky kind of texture on the surface of the plastics as well we've all seen it on cars where you know the the red or blues or green strips of plastic have faded and they've started to crack and they've started to degrade and it looks awful you know the only solution is to change those bits of trim now plastics themselves that are used in computers um are almost certainly not UVA UVB resistant they're not a set of external windows that you put in your house you double glazing which are ultraviolet UVA resistant they're resistant to cracking they have a stabilizer within them they're resistant to fading they have a stabilizer within them we don't have that in the plastics that we use in computer casings and home use plastics there's, there's no need for it there, there's literally no real need for it and I doubt their plastics were envisaged to last 30 to 40 years in the case of some of the machines that are out there anyway now adding heat in the form of a, a bath filled with chemicals or a tub or whichever whatever you're using to then take the color back out of the plastics to make them brighter is cosmetically they look great but because UV ultraviolet light UVA UVB can impose some free chain radicals into you know throughout the the construction or the the layers of the plastic the way it's actually made up it causes the plastic to become brittle and start breaking down now by putting them in chemicals hydrogen peroxide warm warmish water direct heat you're accelerating that you're actually inducing that and the theory is it's going to make them more brittle and they're not going to last quite as long um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a commodore amiga which is fully working machine i've had for a long time um it's got yellow in places it's got yellow on the keys it's yellow down the side of the case it's generally 30 years old worth of normal heat from a household you know when you have your central heating on in the winter and it gets warm in the summer and so on so it's got a natural yellowing to the machine um i do have another keyboard in another case so i'm not doing this out of if it cracks completely and breaks apart I've lost a machine but I'm doing it because I think that using the chemicals to accelerate the process isn't good so I'm, I'm gonna leave that one out completely what I'm gonna do is use what is natural within our environment the Sun the Sun has a, a known problem of making plastics fade anyway if you put um, a plastic toy car in your back garden across the summer where by the time you come to retrieve it there's probably going to be very lit literally no original color to it there's going to be none of the original brightness to it it'll have, lit it'll have literally have burnt through and changed the color of the plastics now I'm not going to go that far with a, a computer case but what I'm going to do is um, what is 
allow the machine to be in the sun for about five hours to see if there's any real colour change. And I'm also going to see if there's any real difference feel to the plastics themselves after such a short time. I'm hoping there isn't. But we all know long term exposure to UV ultraviolet light is bad for plastics. So I'm just going to do a little bit of an experiment to see if natural process is going to cure in inverted commas the yellowing of a, of a computer and then long term we're going to come back to this to see how once the yellowing has come off maybe after another five or six or seven hours of being in bright sunshine is the case susceptible to cracking are the keys susceptible to breaking up through use because they become brittle and we'll just have to see how this one goes as you can see it's a, a bright bright sunny day it's 34 degrees um, 97 degrees Fahrenheit it's really sunny we're in um, Cambridge one of the driest counties in the UK which is drier than some sunshine states so it should be good enough for today and to do our experiment and this is our Amiga. You can see it's quite yellowed. It's untouched. It's just been used for 30 odd years and uh, it's heavily yellowed in some corners. But we're going to see how the sun affects the machine. So this is the machine after five hours of being in direct sunlight. Um, you can see almost immediately what a difference. There's um, less yellowing on the keys, in fact they're starting to turn to the normal colour. The, the case itself is much brighter. And back in its normal setting you can see that the machine is infinitely cleaner. And the machine wasn't pre-cleaned, it was just put in the sun just to see what it would do as an experiment. But I still have my reservations about this whole thing. So we've done our um, experiment with about five hours worth of sun brightening on the case as we want to put it and you can see the difference. The um, Immediately after a quite short time of five hours the case has become noticeably bleached. So the sun alone is able to bleach plastics and bleach is probably the only word you can kind of use from it because all it's doing is it's changing the um, chemical construction of the plastic so the the heat and the ultraviolet light is changing the the case and the way the case is actually now hanging together under the surface it's um, probably not a good long-term solution but I'm going to continue with this over the next couple of weeks, I'm just going to keep popping the case out when it's nice and bright and sunny. And I'm going to find out if the case is noticeably more brittle or noticeably more less useful because of the attack of the ultraviolet rays on it. And um, it's also going to be nice to see if, um, you know, using the power of the sun, which is literally the strongest thing we have, um on the planet which is you know the sun rays because you we all know it can do a lot of good as well as a lot of damage um we're gonna see if that actually physically brings the computer back to its original color and then long term we're going to see if it stays and also we're going to on a later episode we're going to look into alternatives because i believe i still believe that causing damage to the internal structure of plastics just to make them cosmetically better to look at is not really a good solution okay so um i think it's going to be more like clear coating and reapplying a top coat of some kind is going to be a better long-term solution but we'll come to that one in future episodes okay so conclusion is yes the sun can bleach your plastics but even by handling the plastics or the case after they've been bleached for five hours, you can actually hear a little bit more creaking in the case. So I'm long term 
solution I don't think it's going to be the best I think all of these people who have in brackets retro brighted their machines are going to find in the long term they're going to fail the plastics and now going to start cracking so I'd be very careful in making your decision on that but we'll see how this goes and hopefully we'll keep up with a bit of a more scientific look at it long term look to find out if it actually does crack or call induced problems in the plastic okay thank you for watching thank you for listening thank you for taking your time to see my ramblings on the past and i hope it's been of interest and i hope you if you like it subscribe if not have a great day and um hopefully we'll meet each other again on this channel again okay thank you